Greetings and welcome to AutoForge. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm so excited to be playing this game. If you love Factorio, I think you're going to love this. This is kind of a weird mix of like Terraria and Factorio in the same kind of game. Uh, there is like the 2D up and down and sideways movement of Terraria where you got to jump. It's not the top down of Factorio, but we also have some enemies in here. and We've got lots and lots of factory. Ha ha. It's fantastic. So um, you might remember this. Um, this is from Siege Games and the artist uh, or not the artist, the developer lead dev is Jason. And I'm told there are several other people on the dev team, though it is a small dev team. And right now it's in early access, um, but I'm really excited. They created, or he created, Kreia back in the day. Oh my god. I remember wanting to play Kreia on my channel, like, when I very first started out, like, seven years ago. I think it was that long ago. But anyway, this is their next game, and it's cool. So let's start a brand new game. All right. I, I actually named my test game Skyland, so we'll just call it Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe KOS Sky. How about that? How about that? Okay, confirm. This is basically the save file name that the game will, will use for your, your land. All right. So we have... Oh, my God. We went out to the map. So we start out as a, a bot here. We are a bot, and that's okay. I'm trying to move to the sideways. Oh, oh that feels so good. Yeah, we, we, we were locked in place there. Oh, my God. So we're going to mouse over tutorial. To, so we have a very nice tutorial here that introduces us to core concepts of the game here. And we're going to just do that. We're going to gather some biofuel from the mushrooms. We're going to gather rocks. Uh, stone from the rocks. We have wood down here. There's like fallen trees. Not sure how that wood got down here. I surely didn't plant them trees. Um, but we're going to try to kind of get stuff going here and uh, create some different stuff uh, because we're going to make a factory. This is, believe it or not, the beginnings of our factory. Now, for the most part, our factory is going to be underground. So this here, look at this. This is wood deposits we are going to harvest wood our mortal enemy from the ground ah there's some more stuff over there look at this what do we got over here this is iron ore over here all right so this area might be great for um doing our mining and smelting operations okay now this may seem really strange to you. If you've played Factorio or Dyson Sphere Program or kind of any others that you kind of have this sort of top-down view. I know that, you know, DSP, you can, you know, swirl around and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, this, is, this feels different, but if you treat it the same, it's actually kind of cool. All right, so we're going to craft a forge uh, which is under structures. Yeah, we want to, let's do, yeah, let's do five. Why not? Let's do five. Um, so then we grab the forge from our inventory and put it down. Now, I am, you got to forgive me. These, oh man, E is, what is E? E is interact, but tab is inventory. Maybe I should change that because it drives me absolutely crazy. Can I do inventory and interact in the same thing? Maybe if I'm careful, if I'm careful. Let's see, uh, tab, can I change this? E? No, not R, not R, no. E for inventory, can we do that? Oh, and it doesn't erase the interact. Okay, well, we'll see how that works. Uh, okay, so let's get, grab our forge. No, now E is not actually working. E ain't working. All right, so I'll change it back to, maybe it's looking at the first priority thing. <coughs> I'll put it back to tab. Maybe I should do art. I don't know. I wish they were both the same, like Factorio. That's That was easy. Um, but anyway, there are a lot of other shortcuts that are the same as Factorio because I think the devs know that we all play this game, or many of us do, and it's very nice to have this like muscle memory of stuff that you're already doing. Now, we're going to place this right under the iron deposit for reasons that will come become obvious shortly. So we want to mine five iron from the nearby deposit. We right click on this to dig and we can see the iron ore appearing in the lower left hand corner of the screen, how many we have there. So then craft five iron ingots. You basically, you just shove them in there. Uh, you can shift click them, which is a nice uh, shortcut. And you notice we need fuel. 
very like Factorio. So we'll shove this biofuel that we got from those mushrooms in there. We'll go ahead and grab a couple of other little items out here that we have. Now, what is up with all of this like weird pixelation here? Well, that is because if we zoom out, we are living here and we're gonna be able to see this map soon. There's a, there's a magical thing that we have. But the next square onto the right is not revealed yet. So let's get back to, oh, what happened to us? Oh, we died. Wow, I've never had that happen to us. Ooh, discovery cube. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, we died. So we have this cube. Anyway, all right, so we got, we need to harvest our ingots from the forge, research basic extraction. So we press T, hey, hey no, that, that thing. Uh, all right, so basic extraction is this one. Uh, we can also Q research was fantastic. Um, foundations I definitely want first. And then I want to take, let's see, that's assemblers, yes. Intermediate extraction, yes. Uh, basic transportation, yes. All the things, yes. So what do we need for these? Stone planks. We need some mana, iron ingots. That might be harder to get. Uh, mana, all right. Let's get some more iron ore for this because we definitely need some of that. Uh, let's see, craft two cranks. Now this, this, I don't know why they tell you to craft two cranks, craft all these planks and craft uh, the crank drill because all you need to do is click on the crank drill and you can do this. Uh, why can't we do this? Oh, we have no iron, that's why. So let's shove more iron into this uh, furnace here and we'll go ahead and, and grab a little bit more iron ore. So what it's teaching us to do here is to make an automatic drilling thing. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to first start on our automation. Now, if you're familiar with Factorio, what we're doing here is we are getting, um, it's like, it's like before we have any conveyor belts. Okay. So you just go to structures, you click crank drill, and it makes all these parts for you. You don't need to worry about this, except it does it all in one fell swoop. It doesn't like pre-craft all the gears and all that stuff. Um, this is your, our research that we're uh, researching right now. And we can also go up and explore this area, which is kind of nice. I love this netting of, of stuff. There's a giant stone here, which is kind of cool. Come on, harvest. Let's go. I want more stone and then more of these. You can also harvest these guys if you don't think you need them into biofuel. And here we go. Let's get that for now. Okay. All right. Cool. Very cool. And f there's no fall damage, so you can freely do that as much as you want. All right. Let's go back into our inventory and get the crank drill. Now, this, this game has a very unique mechanic. Look at this. You actually crank the drill. This is hilarious. So initially, we're going to make a few of these crank drills. And what it does is it feeds this thing. Now, note, there is a little green arrow here. Now, that arrow is pointing down into the furnace, and it is directly feeding this furnace, okay? Uh, that's what it's doing. So what do we want from here? Stone and planks. So what do we have? Do we need we need planks. Okay, so we'll go back to our crafting. And we're going to craft a bunch of planks. We'll craft like 30 of them because we're going to need them for other stuff too. Um, so there we go. Now this guy can output uh, to various places. And I want to make, let's see, we want to make a box. Let's make three boxes. Actually, let's skip all these. Oh, okay. Hold on. One, two, three. Sure. And then let's do the rest into planks. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is going to feed this thing. Now we're going to get to our conveyor belts soon. They're not called conveyors in this game. They're pipes, I think, but it doesn't matter. Here we have some more wood. Get some wood here. So place a wood chest next to the forge. Oh, see, we already finished that entire other thing, and I didn't even see it actually happen, uh, to be honest. But um, now... Let's see, did we make, we did make a chest. Here we go. So let's make one here. I'm also gonna put another chest up here for random stuff because we're gonna get some other random things in our inventory soon enough. Um, but for now, look at this, we're getting iron ingots. Yay, boom. And then you can keep, you can kind of refill the crank as you go. 
Um, I want to make a couple more of these. Let's make, yeah, I'll make three of these, sure. All right, so collect 10 iron, iron ingots, and then we need to find two void matter in a nearby chest. I think that's this one, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. We get two void matter and, and six oil clots, which is very useful because what I like to do is I like to make these uh, torches. Torches are good. I feel like they're too expensive, but you can be the judge of that. That's fine. Uh, let me finish getting the iron ingots. There we go. That's seven. Okay. All right. Kind of top that up just a tiny bit here. Do we have any iron? No, we don't. We just have to wait for this thing to be done. Okay. So then we expand Apotheos's emitter. Okay, let's take this. All right. So this is Apotheos's emitter. It's a giant crystal-y thing. Okay. Uh, and then we find out we are in this region. Hello. So we can zoom out. No, I don't know why it's not working. Uh, hello? Why, why is it not showing? It should show on the map. I don't know what's going on. All right, so we're here, and we can expand in different ways, in different directions. So we have void matter that is needed for all of them, okay? And then repair tools to the right, iron gears down, metal plating to the left. By the way, these are random, because I, I, when I had a, a t my test game, these were completely different items. Um, and then silver ingots, 320 to go up. Holy fuzzy cats. Anyway, I'm, oh, there it goes. There we see our map finally in map mode where we are in the world, okay? So we're in this gigantic grid and we're kind of in the center. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. Look at this, there's a thing way down there. We should probably explore that over there. Yeah, it's like, I think it's a magical thing that we need to get. So we'll get there, don't worry, it'll be fine. We will get there. So explore nearby for an ancient tech. Now there is one up here. There's a light bulb. This is an ancient torch up here. Um, also what I want to do is we want to, okay, let's get this wood. And then I want to get, um, let's see, can we, I want to get, well, no, no, no. Come on, come on brain, do better brain. So we'll get a drill here and eh. I guess we can, did we get the building tech? No. We need mana for that one. Let's skip to the next one. 20 iron ingots for a combustion drill. Okay. Uh, let's see, where is it? There it is, there it is, our scaffolding. We need scaffolding. Scaffolding is amazing. We want all the scaffolding we can get. Uh, that is basically like platforms in Terraria. If you're familiar, they let you um, build stuff and jump down to the floor below. It's very handy. Ah, we are out of stuff. So let's give it some more biomass for now. Okay, keep those fires burning. Let's go. So what we can do is go for this ancient tech down here. Now, there should be a couple of ancient techs near us. Um, in my test game, I found two near the entrance. So let's see if we can do this. Now, also, we may find sp spots that have sparkles in them. Let's see, can I see any spots with sparkles on the main map here? No, you can't really see them. Anyway, they are visible. They are very visible. So, how close is that thing? It's quite, it's going down there. Let's go down here. Just kind of drop down a bit. Our little robot has quite quite the jump height, so I'm not really that worried about jumping and all that kind of stuff. Let's see, where are we? Oh, we still gotta go way, way down. All right. There we are, we're getting closer now. Let's go dig through this. And we're here, look at this, okay. All right, we are actually here in a place. We have a lot of vines here. We're gonna harvest this. Okay, and then we press E to collect. 
And then we have an ancient tech available to us, which is great. So now we upgrade it at Apotheos' mainframe. Now that's this is the mainframe here. And we can only choose the center one, which is kind of good. Okay, grants the power of Apotheos, boosting health by 4, harvesting power by 50%, and crafting speed by 25%. Yes, please, I'll take it. The next one I always take is carry, and increases inventory space. Because you'll find that this is not a lot of space. It really isn't. Uh, in fact, I'm going to drop off my soil in there. Uh, what is this? Ancient brick. I'll put that in there. That's a block, which we don't need with us at the moment. All right, how are you doing? You are doing okay. I'll give you... Oh, whoops, you got to be cranked. You are not the furnace. Furnace. Furnace needs biomass or wood. Now, it'll eat wood. Uh, it wants iron ingots. I forgot to pick those up. And you, you need... All right, we're going to put these guys on number seven, I think. Actually, I should put them on two, maybe. No, not two. Four. Four. Uh, and then we'll put on the torches on seven. Boxes on six. Uh, and the reason I'm putting them in this in this way is just because that's how I had them in my test game, so it's easier. So let's put a, um, let's see, where are you outputting dr a drill? Let's rotate that to down there. So let's put in a platform here and a box six over there. Okay, and you're a crank drill. Oh, oh God, uh, help. Mm? Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna start harvesting this wood, and it's gonna go into the box. All right, cool. Let's see, get some of that biomass. That sweet, sweet biomass. Oh yeah. All right, crank this some more, and hello, there we go. More iron ingots, which is great. Navigate up and reach the surface of the world. Okay, we can definitely do that. So uh, let's see, see, I want to make a couple more boxes. We don't have enough. I want to make a couple more crank drills as well as I do want to make some more torches. Oh, wow, we don't have a lot of wood here. But as we go up, we'll definitely get some of this stuff and it'll be fine. Oh, there's our other ancient tech. Cool. Let's see if we need anything else from this. Let's go down here and hello. All right. Ange, there we go, carry, let's go. All right, and we have to kill oil slimes. Now this is iffy over here. Let's just make a platform to land on, and then we can just delete this above. And then we have all kinds of other random stuff around here. So what I usually do is I'm not going to put a lot of the um, torches down. And the reason for that is I want to... Um, Save them for, for instances where we need them. <laughs> I will explain as we go. Ah, sparkles. So this is an instance where I like to put torches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to put in, put them in the air. I usually put three torches up here to say, aha, we got stuff here. So that's a, that's kind of a convenient spot for a wood deposit. I like it. Uh, later, when we have more torches, then we can actually kind of, um, you know, get more. But anyway, right now, we don't have a lot of torches. So let's go ahead and we want to do a platform there. And let's get this rest of this stuff out here. I want to figure out what this stuff is. Okay, we're digging sandstone right now. That's interesting. So what do we have behind the sandstone? Ooh, it's a sandstone mine. It's literally a sandstone mine. So let's put in, uh, let's just put in two here because we're really running out of torches. <gasps> we still need to find mana. Ooh, these boxes had gears in them. That's tasty. Ah, and there's another one up here. Look at this. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's just go here and let's just go down here, actually, because if I dig this one, the whole vine is going to fall down, so that wouldn't be great. All right. Uh, this is, looks like, oh, it's stone. Okay, cool. All right, press seven, and we got stone. Nice. Fantastic. Uh, okay, so where are we? Let's look at our map. And we are kind of... Uh, yeah, I think we've reached the far reaches of where... Oh, no, we didn't check out this place, did we? I don't remember if we did or not. There is another deposit there. Maybe we should go down 
uh, through this uh, through this area to reach that. I think that's a good idea. Just make our own. And here I like to just put the occasional um, thingies because you can drop down if you press the down arrow. Or uh, actually, no, it's not down arrow. It's S. If you press S, you can uh, drop down. So here we can not quite jump up. Eh. Okay, so if we do it one there, and I'm going to take these off, and instead I'm going to put in soil blocks here, like this, so I can align myself, so I can line up with that platform. All right, where were we going? We were going to go to... Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, thing. No! When I press map mode, it's not letting me, like, move the screen. Okay, there we go. So, all right, we need to go up here. All right, press M again. Oh, not exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's just do this. The jumping distance is very generous, I have to say. It's quite nice. It feels very floaty and, like, you can get to anywhere. No issue at all. We are looking for this. Man we are looking for a mana node, by the way, because one of those technologies was a mana thing. So we really want to reach that at some point. Let's see what we got over here. This looks like this says iron ore, so that's cool. All right, so let's put in a couple torches here. All right. Map. Where are we? Where? Oh, no. Map. Okay, now it's working. Why, why does it keep doing this to me? All right, so we found that. We should... Maybe we should just go up, but I really want, I want more. Ooh, we didn't go down there yet. Oh, yeah, we did. That was our corner of the world that we went through. Okay, there's one up here. Ah, okay. We can actually go kind of upward and find that one. All right, let's go up this way. Wow, that stone deposit is very chunky. Nice. Okay. Oh, wow, there's a whole thing up here. Interesting. Is there anything in this? Okay, it's just a clay thing with a gear in it. All right, there's a lot of biomass stuff down here. Which is nice for refueling our stuff, by the way. Okay, what is this then? This is going to be a mana deposit. Ooh. Okay, so we needed to get some mana, by the way. So I want to dig a little bit of this out. That's 10. Let's go back to our tech tree and see what we needed for this. So this thing, we needed 10 mana. All right, so I'm going to put that bat back in the queue. Um, all right, we also need... To, what, what is going on with this? Huh? How come we're overlaying this... I think I've encountered a very interesting bug. <laughs> okay, let me just screenshot this. This is funny. Okay, no worries, though. We'll get that one next. Uh, okay, and we got to go back to get, you know, other stuff satisfied. Let's just follow this tunnel. Oh, hello! Hey, look who we found. Krankos! Oh, no! Did I fall asleep again? Thanks for waking me up, brother. Who knows how long I was out for? It's so dark in here. All right, I'll give you a light. Here you go. Mm-hmm. Ah, light. That's much better. Okay. If you're looking for the common comms network, then you should explore the neighboring regions. Okay, so that's our quest now. We have a quest. And I guess we'll have to just remember, because we have no more materials for making torches. We need those uh, oil thingy thingies for making those. All right, so let's go up as high as we can. I think this is our highest peak. Where are we? Yeah, we're up here. So there are enemies on the surface. So we want to dig kind of up here. Let's get out off here and just dig. All right, so I will just dig this. All right, so we're on the surface now. Um, I just basically dug up here, and it's cool. Oh, is that a jar? Maybe. Dig. Okay, it was a bar. I got an iron bar. Nice. 
I'll dig them all up. What the heck? Might as well. Oh, I got some, a torch. Yay. Okay, let's dig some of this to give ourselves some clearance. Now, we can press V to go into combat mode. Now, you can combat plants as well as these enemies, which is good. Nice. These usually result in oil clots. Okay, so we need to destroy an oil slime spawner. Now, I'm not sure of the wisdom of doing that because I really do want to, like, kill more slimes so I get more oil. Because I feel like torches are a very, very scarce commodity. Okay, so we do have another spawner there, which is nice. Okay, there we go. Good whacking sounds. Also, picking up stuff is way too slow. All right, there we go. Now, that enables us to make more torches. Eight. Nice. Okay, I'll, bu I'll build those. That's for sure. Okay. And I'm going to leave that other spawner just for... I Literally, just for... Oh, hello. What is this? Resin. Okay, fun. But yeah, this will kill the biomass, and we can... Uh, let's see, V, let's go ahead and get this thing. We can harvest these different trees and things, and those give us seeds, which we can later plant and do stuff with them. Okay, there we go. Let's go and get these. Okay, going back. All right, so we need to expand, oh, discover an expansive, I mean, we did already discover those, though. All right, good. So that's given us quite a lot of slime here, which is nice. Uh, oh my god, we have 41 torches. That's fantastic. That is very cool. Alright, it's given us a little bit of bonsab sapling. Okay. As well as wood. Lots of wood we're getting from this. I'm just using the sword here because it's easier than getting out, you know, and switching. We'll go ahead and kill this spawner. Oh my god, this is like a double spawner. I probably shouldn't have killed that. But they do have this void stuff, which is kind of fantastic. We need the void stuff. Void particles or whatever the heck it is. There we go. Void matter, it's called. Alright, hello. Alright, time to cut the grass here. Yo! We're just picking up this biomass because it's very tasty for our machines that want to eat fuel. All right, we're getting some stuff. We need more iron gears for this, though. All right, let's go back down all the way back home. Now, I don't know if, like, if we go back into unv mode. Okay, there's our stone deposit, right? So now I want to go around. We need to go and look at these various deposits. Here's wood. Okay, we got the wood according to the thing. Uh, and is this ore? This is iron ore, yeah. Okay, so we got all the things. Now then, I want to go back to our... Um, where do you call it? Ah, it's up here. It's right there. Oh my god. You can't press escape to get out of map mode. So that's like, oh god, come on. Alright, so let's see. We want to put seven to get our torches to mark the uh, mark the node and then uh, can we craft another couple of drills we can I want to get did we discover silver yet so we need one for mana maybe one for silver and maybe one for stone yeah I think we need all those and then I'll, I'll craft all these boxes as well so those we can actually get going and build some actual structures here that would be quite nice of course, these get fueled with cranking. But we're basically going to chip them into a box. So let's see. Let's go back to our inventory. I'll put these like on five. Sure. Why not? Um, actually, let's do two of these. That means I need to make another one. Ah, well, we can't. Ah, okay, it's fine. It doesn't matter. We'll put them both this way, and I'm going to crank them both. They have an internal storage that is quite quite a large capacity, so this works quite kind of well. Uh, so basically, when we come by and um, pick up the material, we'll have two to pick up from instead of just one drill. Come on. 
get going. All right, there we go. So where is the other thing? This is iron ore, okay. And then this is our wood. And then where is that stone, right? I think that's stone. All right, let's go over there. Because we have silver as well, and it can be difficult to find. Okay, now this is sandstone, not regular stone. Okay. Let's go and... Where did I put that stone? Where is it? So for some reason, even though I went into map mode, I can't s move the map. It's not working. Ugh. Th I think that must be a bug or something. That just doesn't work well. Is it up here? Ah, that there's that's where it is. Okay, let's wait. M. Press M to get out of map mode. Uh, I made a suggestion to add uh, enter for that. Or, I mean, escape for that. That's kind of needed. All right, I want to add a um, a miner here. So let's press five. Put ourselves a miner above the box. Uh, six. Okay, you go here. We don't need a lot of stone initially, but it is handy to have some to make furnaces and whatnot out of. So let's go ahead and crank this one in. There, I'm having all kinds of weird... Uh, this should not be like this. Something has gone way wrong here. Okay. Sorry. Oh, no. Things are, things are happening that are very strange. Oh, dear. You know what? Let me just save and restart. Okay, so there was actually no problem. I just accidentally entered debug mode. So that's what what all those little crazy boxes and things were. It was just debug mode. All right, let me just add a sort of ladder up this way. Let's see. Four. Oh, there we go. And then we'll have like a... We need an alignment thing probably on this side. Actually, it works, I think. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, all right. So let's crank our, our cranky things some more so we can get some more production here going. Um, and we can take out the wood from the wood chest. It makes about 20, 23, 22, 23 items. Uh, in fact, let's crank this first. This has a lot of iron ore built up because the furnace ran out of juice. So let's just give that a bunch of biofuel. And there's nothing in the chest. That's fine. So let's go here and put in all the random stuff that we can't do anything with right now. Let's put in the oil cloths. We have tons of torches right now. We'll put in the void matter. Uh, that is going to be used for expanding, but we don't have the rest of the stuff yet. We got bricks, uh, ancient bricks. That's fine. Soil we can always chuck in there. Mana we'll keep. Health containers I'll put in there. We don't need them yet. Sand. Iron ore can go in the thingy-majingy. Resin, we can chuck in. We want to keep our inventory as clean as possible because, believe me, you'll have stuff in there. Do not worry. Uh, okay, so we're getting basic transportation going. So we need 10 iron gears. We are 50% done, so that means that we just need five more. We're just going to craft these five. Ooh, convenient. Okay, that is very convenient. All right, and we can also start making the better combustion drills. We really want these things, believe me. We definitely want to make some of those because those you don't have to crank. Those are uncrankable. You feed them with uh, material, as in fuel, and they go. I like this going part of it. Okay, let's see. Can we... Be, ah, where more? You know what I would love to see is, like, to have... Like Factorio has, like, how many of each base material? Like, five, uh, five iron ingots, three whatever pieces of wood, whatever it needs. I would love to see that listed somewhere on this thing. Still looks like we need some iron gears, so let's keep on making iron. So let's see. Iron gears. How much are they? Are they expensive? Two iron ingots each. So this thing probably costs, let's see, eight plus three plus a forge. Uh, that's several. I think we can make another one now, though. Fantastic. But we do need to get this basic transportation going. Uh, it is researching, but it's a bit slow. It just takes a while. That's all. 
Let's go ahead and crank this thing. This is our wood output. We're going to be relying on wood for a while for um, fueling our furnaces and stuff. All right, and we want to actually get this area prepared because right now it ain't. I want to kind of do, uh, we want to do a false floor here. And you will see what I'm doing in a second. Let's go four. We want to make this the new floor level. And here we're going to have space to put stuff and things. Now we can't mine underneath those or undermine the foundations. See what I did there? Uh, <laughs> I do love word origins. It's a good stuff. Ah! All right, and here go away. We can actually take away all this soil here. Okay, and then put in these guys here. Okay. So now we're going to crank this one up a little bit more. And soon we shall have our combustion drills on our hands. Let's go ahead and put these maybe in there. Um, and we're hopefully we'll get these guys soon. Why is this not making? Hello? Dude, did it? Oh, I wonder if those things used the gears we had. That might be a thing, actually. All right. Um, so we're going to actually let's delete these items real quick so that we can remove these and put platforms. And the reason we're putting the platforms will become obvious quite shortly. Uh, we'll put that forge back into place right now and get a box, which is six, okay, yes, good, good. Input some things and stuff, yes, good, good, good. All right, and also, I pro did we have some iron ore? Yeah, we did, we had some from over there. All right, excellent, so I'm gonna Keep cranking this guy over here. Did we? We already got our combustion drill. All right, so we don't need to keep cranking this at all. We're going to delete that, and we're going to put in a combustion drill right here. We could put in two, but I don't think we need to. It's pretty good on its own. So we're gonna we're gonna do this, and we're going to start making. We really need that. Ah, give us the. Th oh wait, th we already have the thing. We already have. Look at this. We have transport tubes. So let's go get some iron ingots. Come on, let's -a go. And with those iron ingots, let's make transport tubes here. It yields three per recipe. I kind of wish that was at the top, like transport tube times three. Um, I think that would be, uh, I don't know, easier to, to see, but that's okay. We're just, we're thinking about stuff, possible improvements. Um, anyway. This thing is quite tall. At first I was like, hey, I should go over the top of it. And then I'm like, no, I shouldn't. I should just go underneath it. Why not? Why not go underneath this? So much easier. So much shorter in terms of pipes. In terms of transport tubes. We're using tubes to transport our stuff, which is great. Let's go under here. I had to check and make sure I was recording. I was like, oh my God, did I, did I pause the thing? And I'm like, no, I didn't. I didn't, it's fine. Why? Oh, that's because we need gears for that. Of course we do. Yes, that's expensive. So anyway, we're going to get transport tubes. We're also going to get splitters. We're going to make some of those. So let's put in uh, these. Oh, God, that was expensive. Okay. Uh. We also have what we would call in Factorio undergroundies, basically crossover things. If you're familiar with uh, oxygen not included, it's that kind of a thing. Um, I am gonna, hmm, I kind of want this to run here. And so I'm just going to take apart all this stuff here and just go straight across all the way so that we are very consistent in our factory. All right, there we go. And let's go back. Now pipes kind of go along the wall. You don't really have to do much to, to avoid them. Let's get those guys. I also want to see... Uh, distiller, foldery. All right, we want to place transport tubes to be collected from. Ooh, what happened here? This is interesting. Uh, now, I didn't press F1. Yo, this, I didn't do this. <laughs> I think I had, because I had to go to 640 resolution to put it on my big monitor, I think it remembered that. All right, I want to figure out. Uh, I really want those under flowies, undergroundies. Where are those? Mana, bullets, turrets. No. I know it's not over here. Did we get the undergroundies? Maybe we did already. Are they here? 
Scaffolding ladder bricks. Not there. Huh. Oh, it is bypass. Jeez, okay. I'm just brainless, apparently. Alright, and then we want to get the matter refiner after that. And then the conduit tapping. Okay, so here, this is kind of the gateway to the new research, which is essence folding. We're going to get a distiller and a foldery. And after that, you'll notice the required materials is mechanical essence, which is basically a crank and a gear. And this, everything after, needs mechanical essence afterwards. Because here we need 20 cranks and 20 gears to get this new technology. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we need. Anyway, uh, uh huh. Let's crank this. Crank, 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 crank. Let's -a go. All right, and now I need to get um, we need to get more tubes. Okay, made. Those are needed. So, but we can start kind of building this uh, line here. Okay. And that's all we have, sort of. But you will be delighted that we do have shortcut keys, like Q, to pick up the item that you want. Perfect. So now, all right, so the way machines work is kind of funny. So if you see those yellow boxes around the machine, that is the uh, area of pickup. Hmm? Or what do they call it? Collection range. Now, I can't move this window, uh, interestingly, but you'll have to bear with me. Anyway, if you click, this is a button. I didn't know this at first. This means when you have the arrows like this, this means that you can only collect if a pipe is directed directly into the machine. As in, see how this one's directed out? We would need ones directed in. But we're not going to do that for the combustion drill. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to do this. Now, these empty squares mean that the drill can pick up from anything. So when this thing produces wood, it's going to grab from this very first tile and eat it because that's the way it works. Okay, so let's put in one energy, and I want to show you how this is going to work. So it's going to make uh, wood, uh, and then it's going to output this wood. It should output the wood. Hello? Why is it not outputting? It must be outputting the wood. Hello? Oh, no, it's eating it already. It's Look at it. It's already eating it. Okay. So eventually, this is going to output onto this line when it finishes its fill of wood. Um, and then we can get some into these machines. So let's take this out. And press C and make a whole bunch more of these transport tubes. Now, the other thingy is over here. I don't understand why these are, like, maybe it's because they have different speeds or something. Maybe it's we're looking for, you know, red and blue uh, transport belts and that kind of thing. Anyway, you can see the wood already here. This is exciting. So, what I want to do is, if we have furnaces... Here. I don't think we actually want to have furnaces here. I think we want to delete this. And I think we want to put in an automatic um, drill here that is like this, okay? It can still reach everywhere, but we're going to have a tube going that way. So my idea is to put the wood in between this, and we're going to put some more furnaces down, because why not? we can have multiple of them. And we're going to delete this box for now. And actually, I want to delete this thing. And, oh, oh, that was not the best idea. Iron gear and forge. I need iron gear and forges. Ah! Uh, I think I ran out of stone. Actually, let's pick up one of the forges, and that can be our forge. Uh, do we have enough stuff? No, we still need four iron gears. Crap. Okay. Let's get this thing, and we'll move it over. Let's just move it over. Let's move it there so we can have two of these serving the same line, all right? Now, bear with me here. We need to also get a bypass. We need one bypass. And otherwise, we're going to get this log, this log line up here. And these guys, I'm going to change these to a smaller range, but I want to change it to the auto-eat range, you know? Let's go. Let's auto-eat from this thing. This is kind of an interesting concept. At first, I was like, what's going on here? And then I, it was explained. I was like, oh, okay, I see. Now then, we do need, um, to, we need to feed these guys with 
iron ore. Okay, which I don't have at the moment. Um, because <laughs> I really need more tubes. Oh, I'm, I'm out of tubes. This is terrible. God help. Okay, let you, please. Okay, you. And you can have this. Thank you very much. You, I need that. Thank you very much. Okay, and we're doing the ore juggling game here. But this is now fueled with combustion, which is kind of great. Because now it's going to produce a whole bunch of stuff uh, automatically with wood. Wood power. All right. So now what I'm going to do. Oh, whoops. I messed that up. All right. I want to take this over here. Uh, and this is producing ore in the pipe, as you see. Okay. All right. Let's grab these bits here and press C and get more pipes. Did I get the... I did. I got the, the bypass. Good. And splitters can go on number three, as I usually have all of these things. Perfect. All right, so we're going to take this downward and get our bypass. And you go there, I think. Ah, maybe here. We're going to put this here. And then, actually, we're going to make these bigger. We're going to make the collection area bigger. Okay. There we go, like this. Okay, okay. We just need a tiny bit more. Help! Uh, Alright, you... No. Do I have any iron ore? I don't have any iron ore. I'm going to pick up this iron ore. Can you imagine? I wish there was a way like to to yeah pick it up, but I don't know of a way to pick it up. Anyway, we just need a few more tubes, and we'll have automatic stuff. Very automatic. Soon. Soon, I promise. Soon. Uh, oopsies. Hello? You didn't get any? Oh, I thought I'd give it to you. All right. Um, see, yes, one more should do it at least for one furnace, at least. Okay, come on, come on, make, make. Good. Now both of them can win. All right. So now, now both of them are producing stuff and things, right? We are getting the ore coming in through here, and they are both producing. Uh, now we need to take it out of these furnaces or put it on a line somewhere uh, so we can get the new stuff made. Now, what we need to get here, we also need to get assemblers. Now, that is a new thing. We're going to have to go back up and get some mana. Uh, but, all right, here we go. All right, so what we want to do is let's make some more of these uh, before we go and get some mana. Actually, you know what? Let's let that process happen. Let's let it keep on going for a while. We can go and pick up the mana on our own here. If I can remember where it is. I think it's... Uh, this is the land of no mana. But we can fix this by adding a... Oh, wow, you can drill very far. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just jump up here. Hello. All right, good. That's the way I like it. All right, excellent. So this is this is our mana farm. Remember that we made earlier, and we want to we can crank all this again. Now you can put a box to collect this, or you can just pick it up. I find that I I might as well just pick it up. There's no reason to have tubes and a box because it doesn't overflow. It just doesn't overflow. So we don't really need that whole thing. Oh, we had mana. Whoops. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry. We have enough. Oh, wait, wait. That's a rock there. I want a rock. I want rock. Yo! Oh my god. Eh. This is hard. Um, we need... Let's see, do we have... Uh, not this. This one. We do have soil. Okay, so let's align there. Oh no. No, no, no. Hold on. We need two pieces of soil because otherwise we tend to run up, up the soil. Alright, I just wanted to get this rock. Alright, good. So we can make... A furnace. We had 90 rock? What? Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Didn't realize that. Sorry. Sorry. But let's press C and make a few more furnaces. Okay, and now let's take a tube this way. And that is going to give us our iron ingots. Now, I'm going to collect more of these. Let's give this more iron just to empty our inventory. And now we have some actually going places. Um, so now we're talking to place scaffolding over the top of a transport tube and put it over a structure. Okay, why? 
I don't understand why we need to do this. I guess they're just telling us we can. Okay, so that's one of the things. Here, we can do this over here. We don't really care, so I'm just going to take it off and take that one off as well. All right, so place down an assembler and a crank generator and power the assembler with a crank relay. All right, so before we do that, though, I'd rather get another combustion drill going. All right, so you give me this, you give me that, and I'm going to hope and pray that it's enough to build another crank generator. Okay, there we go. Uh, we are still making some uh, those things. All right, and we're doing this. Yay. Uh, let me go ahead and put some stuff in here because we don't need some of this stuff. All right, good, good. All right, I want to make another bypass. Grab some more of this. Now, we can put this into a box, by the way. That is a possibility. But I just kind of want to do things in a way that makes sense here. Let me get also, actually, one thing that would make sense is if we put in um, the wood into a box. Now, right now, and I have asked for this to be uh, changed, you can put a, uh, oh, we actually need a platform over, an, over a tube. And we'll put a box in here. So we're going to uh, just collect some, hello, hello, I, I just want to interact, thank you, I, I was clicking like in Factorio, all right, let's just limit that to two slots, look at this, more Factorio technology, I don't, s we don't get the control or shift click, unfortunately, I would love to have that, but that's not a thing yet, um, I want to build some more of these guys, and then we can also make some ladders. These are very useful for traversing places. You don't have to do the jump up thing, uh, but you can do kind of whatever you want in that way. So it looks like they only hold five each. I really do need to get a, a box instead, I think, for these guys. Let's just make some more tubes and that will enable us to get other things. All right, so, wow, it takes forever to make those. Let's just click those off. Okay, you can right click to click them off. And then let's go back here and then just make a few more and then make some of these. Okay, that seems good. Um, yeah, they do have a very small chunk. These guys instead can hold a whole bunch. So let's make another combustion drill here and we're gonna put you to go upward. And then I wanna put down some more furnaces because I feel like we can definitely improve this assembly line here. I don't know how many, let's see, we can actually look. These are 15 per minute and these do 10 per minute. Oh my God. Okay, so let's see, these are a two to three, right? So if we have 30 per minute, mm, we need three of these. All right, so we have way too many. All right, let's do this. Okay, and then we're gonna adjust, we don't need to adjust this, this, that's fine. Okay, and uh, we're getting wood very slowly. Hello? What's going on, guy? How you doing? All right. Oh, I think because we ate a lot into the box. So not a lot went there. I think we'll change this to output priority to right. And then any excess can go into the box. I think that's a better idea. Okay. So there we go. Let's get these. We are still making iron ingots. It's just a bit slow at the moment. Um, all right, so then we need to think about where do we put our next assembly line? Now, I think we can do it kind of above this situation up here. Why not? So let's take this uh, and extend it a little bit. All right, let's get more of these tubes. We need more. I am going to go ahead and put in a just another level here so it's easy. <laughs> so just so it's easy. You know, so we can kind of move around a little bit better. Let's get rid of this one. No, dude. I didn't want to do that. Okay. Come on, wood. Okay. So now, um, we want to think about what we got over here. What do we want to do over here? Uh, cannot dig. Go away, lamp. You can be elsewhere. I wonder if I get that lamp back. <laughs> It was nice for light. It was nice for light. Uh, let's see. Can I do that? Thank you. I almost fell through. That was terrible. Uh, here it is. Ancient torch. Yep, we can do that. Oh, sure. Okay. It, I didn't know it was floating. I thought it was like on top of stuff. Um, actually, let's put it over here. 
We can put it uh, maybe hmm, here. Oh. Okay, that was unsuccessful. <laughs> that was unsuccessful. All right, now we need to make assemblers. Now those, everything in this game has a lot to do with iron. So we have a lot of iron items that we need to make. Um, I'm thinking I just put stuff into a box. I, I kind of like, I'm dreading it, but I should just sh chuck it into a box. Just chuck it in, it's fine. There we go, that's much easier than grabbing from each machine. Much easier. And that means I can also start uh, getting these guys, but I don't want to. I really want to do a, uh, make a proper assembler here. We need two assemblers. We need one assembler to make uh, cranks and one assembler to make gears, okay? We are also gonna need some power relays. I'll just do all of those at once. And then let's go ahead and get this iron. We don't wanna run out of iron. So these guys, I don't know what's... Oh, why is that one going there? That's not good. They were rotated wrong. Oh, no. Sad times. Okay, that's why they weren't producing very well. All right, now we know, though. Now we got it sorted. Good, good. Now, the important thing to note is that chests, you notice they have these arrows. You cannot change those arrows. There is a special item to withdraw stuff from chests. So that is not uh, a thing that you can just... Hey, let's plonk it down and put biomass into the system with the logs. Nope, can't do that. Sorry. Not a thing that can be done until later. Now, there is a tech for this. Uh, it's over here somewhere. It's called Porter. Porter. I don't know why it's called Porter. I think it's a, not a great name. should be called Checks Chest. Uh, chest Exeter. Chest Extruder. Chest something because it's only to do with chests as far as I understand it. So anyway, let's see, let's get some more 25 ingots. Dang, I feel rich, it's fantastic. Uh, all right, let's get, we need a crank generator or two, make two and another assembler. And then that means we can do stuff. So we need two things. So the cranks, let's just look at the materials that we need for these different items. So gears take two iron ingots and cranks take one iron ingot and two planks. Uh, and this takes two seconds to craft, this takes two seconds to craft. So we need a plank maker for the crank. Now, I think we can just make a plank maker. Uh, so that means we need another assembler actually. Um, and we need to go back and get some more iron. Nope, excuse me, thank you. Let's make two. Might as well. All right. Um, so let's start out with, with what we're going to do here. I want to... Now, these are going to be electrical machines. They do not need power from wood. That is pretty important to note in this case, okay? So let's do a machine here. This is going to be the wood maker, I think. And that means we're going to also change this. to do something else. Uh, we need to have a splitter here, I think. Something like this. And we're gonna change the priority on this to be non-prioritized so that we can get this guy making planks, okay? So now we also need to figure out how we wanna do the electricity. Now, I recommend you just put in a couple of crank generators uh, here. So let's see, we can press this key and get in our crank generators. Oh, they, why is that not fitting there? That's weird. Okay, I'll take it off. Let's see if we can put the crank generator, press four. Oh, it's taller. No, it can't have, it doesn't like, okay. Okay, we'll give you your space, it's fine. See, it's throwing fits on me now. All right, now these guys have a little red dot here and that's kind of like an electricity connection point. So what we've made to connect these things are these power relays. So you see when you put one in, it kind of has connections to all of those with little these purple strings. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it over here to have maximum coverage of machines, okay? So what we're gonna do here though is we need to crank these guys. You're familiar with this procedure already, I hope? 
There we go. We are cranking it. And the reason for two is just so we have to crank it less often. So two machines will provide the power and they won't run down as fast. Okay. So there we go. So now this thing is making wood. Now we want this to point to the right. That's correct. So one thing that's cool is when you place this down, it's going to automatically copy the recipe. I love that. This is better than Factorio. But this one, we want this to make the crank. Okay. That is what that one is making. Um, oh, geez. I should have put these one up, I think. Um, because I really want to get the iron up in here. Actually, the iron can go above this. I think the iron can go above. So we're going to have this output go up. Um, and we want our iron probably to be here. Let's make the iron here. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. We can't do that. We can't do that. Uh, well, actually, maybe we can. If we go and... Um, I kind of want to make it... I want to make it in range, the iron. Uh, but it has to be on the next level, I think. Like here. But we need to move this guy, because that guy's now in the way. So let's move that to be, like, here. Yeah, that seems okay. Alright, cool. So, now, we have a situation here where we need to put in the splitter here. And we might add more of these uh, machines soon, so don't... Don't despair of that. So, oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. So now these are getting iron. Now, this crank is going to get the iron from here. And now I'm going to put in a gear machine. Okay, this one is going to be making gears. And both of these can grab iron because of this kind of interesting uh, thing we got going on here. I'm going to put in some platforms on top of this. Go trim these vines. Nice. Okay, and then we can... Can't dig supporting structure, really? Uh, oh, we got the stalagmites. Okay, cool. It's rocks. Fantastic. So now we are going to learn how to make the foldery and stuff and things. But we're going to get some cranks and some gears first. And those are going to be here. Essence folding. Alright, so let's just pick them out of the machine. Pick these out of the machine. Good, good. And we'll probably get a two here. One of these little uh, crossy under things. Let's get another one. Actually, we need more and more of those, but let's open the box and get a whole bunch. There we go. Let's make, like, that many. Is that enough? I don't even know if that's enough. Probably it's not enough. It's never enough! Okay, let's see. We also want to make sure that we are... Oh, we're contaminating this tube terribly. Oh my god. Okay, that was bad. So now, we have... I don't know if there's a way to, like... Uh, Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Uh huh. All right. I know one is like stuck in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, there. That's better. That's better. So you are out of fuel. All right. So it looks like our our log uh, maker is not actually working up to par here. So. Are you good? No. Let's find out what's going on and if we can maybe make another. Yeah, we certainly can. Let's see if we can... Let's make another uh, combustion drill. And then we definitely need this. We need more cranks and more gears. I think I can help this process by just like one, two, one, two. That's ten each. And then another... Yeah, that many. Alright, are we done making these? Yeah, we, I think we are. Let's see. C, not C, tab. Okay, combustion drill. Here we go. It's a very small wood deposit, so it's not great. Um, but we're going to try. Okay. Eh. Alright, I'm going to give you some biomass. Here, take all the stuff. There you go. So those guys are going to make wood. 
So now these are going to go upward and they are going to go into different machines that are going to make science for us. Um, yeah. What we can do is actually just maybe put these together. Let's see if we make some more transport tubes. Hooray. So this is going to get our science going, I hope. We'll go pick up some of these gears, pick up the things and the stuff. Yeah, these should get going, I think. I hope. Come on, guys. Oh, this is wrong. Something is wrong here. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Okay, something went very wrong there. I'm not really sure what happened. You take that. You take that. You take that. Okay, now we are producing again. Yay. Grab these three gears in again. I don't know if we need like more cranks or what. I wish this thing told us like how many you need, how many more you need, you know? That would be super useful. So, yay. Come on. So over time, this is gonna get filled and this one is gonna get the rest. So it's gonna get filled with what? Three, three gears, I think. And then it's going to, you know, take as much input as it will hold. And then the other one is going to get all of the materials. So it's not something we need to really worry about too much. Uh, so let's see. Oh, no, it's making more gears. Oh, dear. Okay. Hello? How many are you going to hold? I think it holds five. Is that right? Maybe five. I don't know. I don't know. I hope so. But anyway, let's let's make these tubes here and then we can actually, you know what we could do? We could just do a this. Okay. And then oh, it's going to output more now. Oh no. <laughs> well, what we can do, there is an easy way to fix this. Uh, so if we go in here, and say E, we can do collection range, only take what's given to you. So if we do a this, like a splitter, that's gonna split stuff, and it will ensure that uh, it only takes what gets into the split, and everything else is gonna go to this machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, make this a little bit shorter, so that it, uh, yeah, so there we go. That's good, so it, we don't have wasted pieces. It's always nice. And there we are actually getting cranks out of this stuff. Let's go ahead and delete those so we can just grab them into our inventory. And that's a little bit more fair for the machines, I feel. All right, we're still getting getting quite a lot through here. Um, and I think that's probably eating a lot of our production. So now we can make the, the new things. Can Yeah, we can now. Okay, we can make a foldery and a distiller. But we need silver ingots and mana fibers. And this is going to usher us into automatic stuff. Uh, basically labs like you would see in Factorio. So, uh, but unfortunately, we don't know where any of that silver is. So I need to investigate this. I'll probably do that off camera. And Oh, that's nice. Um, so that you don't have to suffer through me, like, looking through all of this place. Because uh, we have been through some of it already. And we haven't found it. Wait, why? What is going on here? Okay. There we go, four, yes, okay. Uh, but then we're gonna wanna put our science machines up here and make that a nice cozy place for our assembly lines. So, but for now, this video is getting way, way long. So I am gonna have to say, if you enjoyed the video, do please click that like button. I really hate to ask, but it so helps us so, so much. It really makes a difference on the channel. And um, I'm excited about this game. I hope you'll check it out because so far I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's really cool. And if you think about it in Factorio terms, like just imagine you're doing stuff top down um, and it's easy. And make sure you use uh, these uh, different um, collection ranges to your advantage because that's a really unique feature of the game and it really helps, you know, move stuff along. Anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed, do check out the subscription button. Uh, it is very helpful for being notified of new videos, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.